So Wache, my name is Jules Kustachin. I'm Cree and a band member of Ottawa Piscat First Nation and I live here on the unceded ancestral lands of the Coast Salish peoples in Vancouver. This tribute to my brother is to acknowledge his life. When he passed away, the pandemic happened and then everyone went into lockdown, which was devastating because we were not able to hold ceremony for him or a funeral. When you lose a sibling, it really kind of messes you up in a way, especially a younger sibling, which really pushed me to reflect on our relationship. We loved going up to Moosonee, my brothers and I. We spent a lot of our summers outside. In the winter, we would go sliding and it would be like minus 40. <laughs> we would still be playing outside. And my brother was active. He was a little guy and he liked to play outside. He liked, you know, the fresh air. He liked being in the water in the summer. He was just one of those people who had a free spirit. We have great memories together as children. Just spending time with my grandparents as well, gathering and being with cousins and stuff like that up in Northern Ontario is just a wonderful childhood. And he always liked the ocean and being in the water because he was just a water baby. So when you have an adverse childhood, you're close with your siblings. It was just nice to have someone to reach out to who understood me and I understood him. You know, he had his challenges growing up. My brother's gay, and um, before he passed away, he came out and started living his truth, which was just so beautiful. Hi, we're here in Ottawa with my baby brother. We're gonna go surprise my mom, and I will film it. See you soon. And it's funny because I remember him coming out to me, and I was like, uh, yeah? And we all knew. I asked for his ashes. It took, I think, a good year before we could actually organize anything. So in the second year of the pandemic, I just said, you know what, we're not waiting anymore. Let's just ask an elder to come and do the ceremony. So we asked my friend Ray to, to join us and to hold ceremony for us. I was like searching around for a boat so we can like go out and put his ashes in the ocean. Um, I found this native guy, a Cree guy that owns a boat and we all gathered. When I put his ashes into the ocean, I had to say goodbye, so I let him go. Because I still have some of my brother's ashes, I bought this little tiny urn, this little silver urn, and I put some of his ashes in there when I went down to Mexico recently and it felt like my brother was with me. I put him on the table. I put him on the balcony with me when I was sitting, listening to the waves crashing and watching the sunset. And I even brought him to dinner with me. So I put his little urn in my purse and we go for dinner because I went by myself. So it was just kind of cool. I felt like my brother was with me, which was, you know, incredible. Before he came out, he was married for several years to his high school sweetheart. He had a son with her, my nephew Connor, who looks exactly like my brother. And uh, when we flew Connor here to Vancouver, just felt so comforting to spend time with him because the mannerisms, everything about Connor reminded me of my brother. So in a way I felt like my brother was with us. I feel like Connor represents the next generation. He's an Indigenous youth with so much to offer and he was raised with culture and raised with my brother and all those cultural teachings we were raised with when we were with my grandparents. So I feel like in moving forward that my brother is kind of still with us in a way through my nephew. I'm <laughs> 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 <laughs>